create a category potentially outside of strictly female male. The Olympics' first transgender athlete, Team New Zealand sparks outrage after picking a transgender woman weightlifter who competed as a man until 2013 as rivals call it a bad joke. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. The article further states, weightlifter Laurel Hubbard will become the first transgender athlete to compete at the Olympics after being selected by New Zealand for the women's event at the Tokyo Games, a decision set to fuel the debate over inclusion and fairness in sport. It's difficult when you, when you believe that you're not, you're not in that situation of being um, in an equal playing field. Do you see any way in which that could be resolved fairly? Uh, maybe we need to look at look at what we can do to, to let people in this situation have, have a category that, um, you know, where everyone can compete on an even playing field. So you think create a category potentially outside of strictly female-male? Potentially, I mean, um, you know, we, we, sh we all deserve the right to be, um, yeah, on, on an e even playing field. Hubbard, 43, said she was humbled by her selection and that it had been a long journey to reach this point. But international athletes and health professionals are divided over Hubbard competing in women's categories with some claiming she will have an unfair advantage and others saying the situation is like a bad joke. Hubbard competed in men's weightlifting competitions before transitioning in 2013 at the age of 35. She became eligible to compete in the Olympics when new guidelines were set by the International Olympic Committee IOC, in 2015. The IOC policy specifies conditions under which those who transition from male to female are eligible to compete in the female category. Among them is that the athlete has declared that her gender identity is female and that the declaration cannot be changed for sporting purposes for a minimum of four years. The committee also announced any transgender athlete could compete as a woman provided their testosterone levels were below 10 nanomoles per liter for at least 12 months before their first competition. Hubbard met those standards. But some within the weightlifting community argue the policy does not guarantee fair competition. The determining criteria a maximum reading of 10 nanomoles per liter of testosterone is at least five times more than a biological woman. Some scientists have also said the guidelines do little to mitigate the biological advantages of those who have gone through puberty as males, including bone and muscle density. Belgian weightlifter Anna Van Belingen, who will likely compete against Hubbard, said life-changing opportunities are missed for some athletes' medals and Olympic qualifications, and we are powerless. Of course, this debate is taking place in a broader context of discrimination against transgender people, and that is why the question is never free of ideology. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do because every time we voice it, concerns, we get told to be quiet. In my opinion, they should make another category for people that have transitioned and let them all compete against each other. If the Olympics ban certain substances that elevate hormone levels, why don't they ban substances that decrease hormone levels? For the longest time feminists have been fighting for women to compete in men's sports, but I don't think this is what they had in mind. If you want to dress like a different gender, have a reassignment surgery and take medicine that is up to you, but that doesn't change what you were born as. Maybe the Olympics should have everyone compete in, born as gender categories, regardless of what you identify as. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.